All right, you guys, you want to check out how to do some CRT text effect shenanigans here in After Effects. Now, this version is quite complex. We're going to do something more simple, but I also going to leave a link in the description with the source files. So let's click on the new composition. This is going to be the CRT dots and we're going to go to the width and height. We're going to go with 30 by 23, 30 frame per second. Click OK. Let's go to the grids. I'm going to select the proportional grid and select the rounded rectangle. Also make sure that you don't have anything on the stroke. Click on the none, click OK, click on the fill and select the solid color. Click OK. And we're going to create a pale shape here. And I'm going to select the selection tool. And I'm going to press Ctrl D on the layer duplicate. I'm going to go to the line, align it to the center, press Ctrl D again and bring it on the right. And then here we're going to recolor it. I'm going to start with the first layer. Let's go to fill and change up the color. This is going to be the blue. Click OK. Select the second layer. This is going to be the green. Click OK. And then how about least the red. This is going to be the default. All right. So now we're going to go here to the project. Right click, select new composition. This is going to be the CRT pattern. And then I'm going to go to the preset. Let's go with a 1080p 30 frame per second landscape. Click OK. Select the CRT dots, drag it in and I'm going to zoom out. There you go. Now let's go to effects and presets. Search for repeat tile and drag it on the layer. And here we're going to go to the left and the right. I can increase it to a thousand, left a thousand, extend down 600, extend up 600. Now let's go here, right click, go to new, select the solid and we're going to recolor it as white. Click OK. And I'm going to call this as a displacement. Click OK. Go to effects and presets, search for Venetian blinds. I drag it on the displacement layer. And let's go here to the settings. I'm going to increase the transition. I'm going to go with 50. Direction should be on zero degrees. And for the width, I'm going to go with 60. So if you zoom in, make sure to have these white lines in between the green dots here. You also can go and select the displacement layer and press left and right. So this is going to, you know, reposition it. So it should be something like this. All right. So next, let's go and right click on the displacement layer and select pre-compose. This is going to be the displacement comp and select move all attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Now we're going to need to uncheck the displacement comp and select the layer with the CRT dots. Let's go to the effects and presets, search for a displacement map and drag it on the CRT dots layer. OK, so let's go to the displacement map layer. We're going to need to change it to displacement comp and change the source to effects and masks. And we're going to zoom in so you can see we get like distortions here. So we're going to need to arrange this accordingly. So first we're going to go here to the horizontal display. Let's turn this off. Okay, so it seems like things are looking good here. The main point is to delay these patterns. So it's going to create this wave effect. So if it doesn't align like this, then you can go here to the horizontal display and this way you can shift it to the left and the right. But in my situation, this is perfect on five. And then how are you going to delay it even more? You can go to the vertical displays and check this out. So I'm going to delay it something like this. I'm going to go with 12. All right, so next we're going to make the final comp. Let's go back to the project, the right click new composition, and this is going to be the final comp 1080p. Click OK and select the type tool. Here we're going to type in the text, scale it up, and we're also going to need to animate this. So let's go and select the text layer, press the letter P for position, press and hold Alt, click on the stopwatch, open up the expression, type in wiggle, enter, and I'm going to go with 12 three click somewhere here. So if you hit play, it is going to wiggle like this. And we're also going to need to add some animation on this. So let's go to the effects and presets and check this out. The first thing is here animation presets, open it up. And here we got the text and here we got the animate in animate out and all kinds of animation. But I just going to go with animate in and I'm going to select one of these. Let's go with decorate character, drag it on the text, hit play. And look at that. OK, so next we're going to go back to the effects and presets. Search for Gaussian blur and drag it on the text layer here. I'm going to set the Gaussian blur on 33. Also make sure to uncheck repeat edge pixels. Let's search for glow. Drag it under. 
Let's go to threshold. I'm going to make this 100 glow radius. This is going to be 60 intensity 0.2. Then let's search for colorama. It drag it under the glow, open up the input phase, and let's go and change up the intensity to alpha. Open up the output cycle. Let's go to the red color, double click, make it black. And I'm going to double click on the purple or magenta. I'm going to make it white. Press and hold shift and drag it on the black. Here we're going to need to change up some of the colors. I'm going to make this blue. Probably going to remove some of the dots, drag it. And I'm going to go with this example. Why not? Let's scroll up, duplicate the glow, press Ctrl D, and drag the second glow under the colorama. Here we're going to need to increase the radius. I'm going to go all the way to 1000, and the intensity is going to be 0.8. So now what we need to do is select the text layer, right-click on it, go to Precomp. This is going to be the text right now. Now let's go and search for Shift Channel, drag it on the text layer, and here I'm going to turn off the blue and the green, and also search for the set mat, drag it under the shift channel. Here I also gonna go back to the project, and we're gonna need to search for the CRT pattern, drag it above the text layer, and let's go and deactivate it. Now select the text layer, go back to effects controls, and here we're gonna need to change this to CRT pattern. Let's go and change up the alpha channel to a red channel. Let's go and select the text layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate the layer. Now we're gonna need to change up the red channel to green channel. We're gonna turn off the red and we're gonna activate the green. Let's duplicate this, press Ctrl D. And then here we're gonna need to change it up to blue channel. Turn off the green, activate the blue. All right, so now we're gonna go and Create an adjustment layer, rename. This is going to be the effects. Make sure to place it on top of every each layer. Let's go search for Gaussian Blur. Drag it on the effects layer. This is going to be set on 5. And then search for Glow. And drag it under. Increase the threshold to 100. Let's go and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Let's go to the Glow Radius. This time it's going to be 40. And then you also can duplicate another time, and then this time is going to be 80. Now let's go and search for curves. Double click. We're going to increase the contrast. And I'm going to select the glow 3, press Ctrl D to duplicate, and drag the glow 4 under the level. So it's going to look something like this. Decrease the radius, maybe. Oh, there you go. Let's go and search for add green. Double click on it. And we're going to go here to the preview, select final output. I'm going to increase the intensity to 2 and size 1.3. Now you also can see there's a weird dark glow around the text. So for that, what we're going to need to do is right click, go to new and select solid. And we're going to change up the color to black. Click OK, rename it background. Click OK and drag the background under every each text layer. So now it is pretty clean. And let's go ahead and hit play, and pretty much this is how I make CRT effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.